We now come to the Leader of the Opposition, Keir Starmer. Yay! Mr Speaker, can I join your tribute to John and wish him all the best on behalf of the House and join the Prime Minister in his comments about the Holocaust Memorial. I'd also like to wish Muslims across the country a happy Eid. And Mr Speaker, last week the Labour Party lost Margaret Madonna, our first female General Secretary, and a trailblazer in every sense of the word. Margaret provided guidance, leadership and loyal friendship to so many in the Labour movement. And it wasn't long after I started in this job that Margaret was at my door. And I will be forever grateful for the advice and support that she gave me. We will all miss her terribly. Yeah. Mr Speaker, his party spent thousands of pounds on adverts attacking plans to build 300,000 new homes a year. At the same time, his housing minister says it's Tory party policy to build 300,000 new homes a year. So is he for building 300,000 new homes a year or against it? Prime yeah. Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I can just remind the honourable gentleman of our record uh, since being in office. 2.2... 2.2 million additional homes, Mr Speaker. Housing starts double the number we inherited from the Labour Party. More homes meeting the decent home standards. Housing supply up 10% in the last year that we have figures for. And in, in the last year we had figures for, we also saw a 20-year high in the number of first-time buyers, Mr Speaker. That's a Conservative government delivering for this country. Mr Speaker, it wasn't a difficult question. Um, so, can he point to a single person in housing, in construction, anywhere, who thinks he'll actually hit his target of 300,000 new homes a year? Anyone? Anyone. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Mr Speaker, the record is that in the last three years, we've delivered almost record numbers of new home building in every one of those years. But, but Mr Speaker, it talks about targets, so let's be clear. I promised to put local people in control of new housing. I delivered on that policy within weeks of becoming Prime Minister. But I am confused from the Honourable Gentleman, because first the Shadow Community and Housing Secretary said communities should have control. But then he then said we should get the targets back and disempower local people. I do want to give him some advice. I don't think it's local people that are the problem. It's a Labour Party policy. Mr Speaker, presumably if he could have identified a single person who thought he'd hit his target, he would have told us. And there you have the problem. One minute he says he's for building new houses, the next he's campaigning against them. And the truth is, far from delivering, since he crumbled to his backbenchers and scrapped mandatory targets, house building has collapsed. He knows it, they know it, and every expert is telling them it. Why didn't he just admit it? He's not going to get anywhere near his target, is he? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, the, the Honourable Gentleman now claims that he supports house building, especially on the, on the green belt. But unfortunately for him, it's good that he, he agrees that he, he does believe that now, but unfortunately for him, the Shadow Deputy Prime Minister, the Shadow Minister for Women, the Shadow Health, Justice, Defence, Business, Northern Ireland and Scotland Ministers are all united against more house building in their areas, Mr Speaker. I have to say to them, though, Mr. Speaker, I, I would say to them, though, they don't have to worry too much because he's never actually kept a promise he's made. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. you can tell from his answer, not answer in his body language, he's actually given up. He's given up. And his failure isn't just shattering the dream of those who desperately want to own their own home. It's also hitting those who already have a mortgage. Because of their economic chaos, mortgage holders will be £2,900 a year poorer. How can they ever look the British people in the eye again and claim to be the party of home ownership? Yeah. 
Prime Minister. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I don't, I don't think he's noticed that his Shadow Housing Secretary doesn't actually agree with his new policy of concreting over the Green Belt, Mr. Speaker. She's been campaigning against developments in her own constituency. She said she wanted to prevent urban sprawl and provide green space for local people. I think that's quite sensible, but it's classic Labour, Mr. Speaker, saying one thing here, doing another thing elsewhere. You simply can't trust a word they say. At least he isn't claiming they are the party of home ownership anymore, because we are. Mr. Speaker, but the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister says he's 100% on it. But his definition of 100% on it is to gently ask the banks to do the right thing. His softly, softly approach, refusing to put mandatory measures in place, risks leaving a million households without support. How many will have to lose their homes before he'll stand up for the people his party have pushed into economic misery? Mr Speaker, in fact, the vast majority of the mortgage market is now covered by the new mortgage charter that the Chancellor has brought in. That is delivering practical help to mortgage holders, allowing them to extend their terms, switch to interest-only mortgage, and actually saving them hundreds of pounds a month. So instead of scaring them, actually, there is now practical support in place. But it's right that he raised uh, home ownership, Mr Speaker. That's why we, on this side of the House, introduced a 95% mortgage guarantee scheme. It's why we introduced the first homes and shared ownership schemes to get people onto the housing ladder. And crucially, Mr Speaker, it's why we cut stamp duty. So now what we've seen is the highest number of first-time buyers in 20 years, Mr Speaker. That is twice the number that the Labour Party ever managed. Mr Speaker, it's, it's sort of housing crisis, what crisis, with this Prime Minister? He must be the only person in the country who thinks that enough houses have been built in the last 13 years. And whether it's those dreaming of getting the keys to their first home or those already with mortgages, the ambitions of families across the country have been crushed by his failing Tory government. House building at its lowest rate since the war because he can't stand up to his own party. A Tory mortgage bombshell because they crashed the economy. Millions left without support because he won't make lenders put families first. Rather than lecturing the rest of the country and holding their nerve, why doesn't he try and locate his? Well, Mr Mr. Speaker, as always, he hasn't actually taken the time to understand the detail of what we're doing. So, uh, again, I'm I'm happy to to explain it again, Mr Speaker, because it's right that we provide support for mortgage owners, which is why we improve the generosity of the support for mortgage interest scheme. It's why we've introduced a new mortgage charter, which, by the way, goes much more farther than the Labour Party policy on protecting mortgage.